Hi, I'm Danny Burton. I'm a third year med student, and I've been working with Talia Mandelkern, who is a recent Pitt Med graduate and MedPeds resident, and Dr. Levinson and Dr. Donovan, studying the feasibility and efficacy of a telemetry module for rising third years before their clinical rotations. We noticed a gap in medical education in which students are expected to be able to read the monitor without any specific training in continuous cardiac monitoring interpretation and how to use telemetry as part of their diagnostic workup. We developed a module in which students go through cases at their own pace, looking at EKGs, ordering labs, doing full workup, and they receive immediate feedback on their decisions in order to practice and hone clinical decision-making for various tachyarrhythmias. This module is asynchronous and can be viewed by students on their own time from home. This year, during our asynchronous pre-clerkship week, with all the materials going virtual, this module is an example of the advantages of asynchronous curricula. Students can go at their own pace and their own level because the explanations can be read closely or skimmed through. Also, students can return to the module at their convenience, for instance, prior to inpatient medicine or emergency medicine. The class of 2020 completed survey only, not module, to service historical control, and the experimental group includes students in the classes of 2021 and 2022. Responses showed that most rising MS3s are not very confident in their CCM skills. Our rising MS3s over the past three years had the most confidence in their abilities to recognize the pattern of VTAC, but not moving beyond pattern recognition. They still need to learn how to apply this knowledge to clinical management. Acknowledging that students that chose to participate were interested in telemetry, most students do think that telemetry is valuable, suggesting they do want to know how to use it more successfully. The module has been successfully administered for a while now, and members of the class of 2021, our current fourth years, have already completed six-month follow-up, showing benefit to students and students' positive opinions of a formal module preparing them to interpret telemetry on the wards. We hope to increase our sample size and strengthen these findings with my class, the class of 2022, as we progress through MS3. That brings me to a major challenge of the project, which was in engaging students and maximizing participation. Incentivizing study participation works, but the module alone outside of a research project will not work that way. Dedicating curricular time to the module and survey makes it a more formally recognized part of their learning and preparation for the wards, which really helps increase participation, which we saw from year to year as we worked to make it a bigger part of pre-clerkship week. And then this year, students had more asynchronous time for more asynchronous modules overall. Outside of a research study, this module could be offered at the start of rotations when cardiac monitoring will be most relevant in order to provide the most benefit to students, galvanize participation, and optimize their retention of the material. It is a privilege to work with Dr. Mandelkern, Dr. Donovan, and Dr. Levinson to bring this module to my peers and get involved in med ed. We would like to thank the following people, and here's our contact information. Thanks for the opportunity to share our research, and thanks for being with us.